well. In this video today, we'll be looking at how you can deploy a simple business source container edition application onto Kubernetes. So I'm going to open up my studio. I have a project already. So it's just a simple REST app where I just get a name and cal and location as response in this case, Bob in California. I'm going to be using port 8083 just to simulate, let's say, if, I was, if a different port was being used, I can change that. And I already created the air file, but if you want to create it, you just go to SAM Project Package Unit Overview. It opens up this page, and you just do Export Application for Deployment. That creates the air file in your location and gives it a name. So if I check here, I actually have the air file already created. I created the Docker file, so I can build a Docker image for it. Um, I can, if I want to look at what the Docker file is, I can. So it's going to take the base image, add the air file, and expose port 8083. Put out of that, and then I already have the image created using the Docker um, file. So I do Docker images. I can see BWC typical sample project um, created three minutes ago. So what I want to do is I'm going to be using the Amazon ECS container service. So here I already have a repository already created, and once you created the repository, it can give you um, a few push commands. So I already logged into my um, repository, so I just ran AWS um, ECR get login the region. This returned a Docker login command with the key, so I just copied and pasted that. I already built it, so I don't need to do the step three, so now I just need to tag it. So let's um, go back here and do um, Docker tag um, BDC Tipco sample project. And then let me copy and paste this part. Copy. Paste. Essentially, what it's going to do is going to take this um, PWC's typical sample project that I have here, and it's going to tag it with um, this ID. So this is how, once we want to push it up, how AWS will actually know that this is the image we want. So if I look at Docker images, we'll see here it is, and we'll notice the image ID is the same, so you know it's the same. Um, actual image. And if you go back to the instructions, we'll see a Docker push. So we're just going to copy and paste that and it should push it up into our repository. And depending on your internet speed, it could take um, a few seconds or it can take a couple of minutes, it's just depending on the size of the image itself and how fast your upload is. So we'll just give that a couple seconds, it should be done relatively quickly. And if we see here, we can see latest digest, it gives it an ID and it shows, okay, it's been done. If we actually close this and I'm going to refresh, notice that here it is now. So it gives you um, the exact same latest, that's the tag that we'll be using. If I had any other ones I could check, um, this digest ID should be the same and it gives it when I've actually pushed it. And so I'm going to be using this image itself for actually deploying an application onto Kubernetes. And I have my cluster already running, so I have a dashboard here. Um, this Kubernetes instance is actually running on AWS, so it's um, around, I think it's four instances or five instances that are running together just to create a cluster um, that's attached to my AWS account. And here, dashboard, I see that I have no applications deployed right now, so I'm actually going to use this ID or this image to deploy an application manually onto Kubernetes. Um, this is done with the YAML file, so. I'm going to actually clear out of this. And notice how I already had a YAML file here created. I'm going to open it up just to see how it looks like. So notice um, I have a service load balancer. I specify what ports I want to use, replication controller, and then the container name and such. What I need to do is actually add the image name. So I'm going to insert the image name. So if I go back to here, then I know what the, the name of the image is. So it's um, it's going to be the URL with the tag latest. So if I go to image, I'm going to paste. And then tag latest. And so I want to save this. So right quit. So now, when I actually deploy my application, I'll be using the SCAML file and I'll be pulling it from my um, container service 
um, repository. And so if I actually check to make sure that I have Kubernetes running here, I can do kubectl cluster info. And we can see that it's running. So if I do, um, I can actually check kubectl help, just to make sure. And let's see what the command we need to do to actually run it. So the uh, kubectl create. And, it's, and we'll, we'll put what the file name and such is in. So I'm going to do um, Q, or let me get the name again. So Q, CTL, create, flag, F, so you know what file, and then the name of the YAML. This will create the pods, the replication controller, the services and such that, need, that are specified in the YAML file. Notice that service has been created, replication controller has been created, so um, we can actually look and see here in our dashboard, refresh it. Notice something's being created right now. It's, it's, it takes a little while, so right now we're just waiting for the pod to come up. So give it a couple seconds, and once it's done, we'll check to make sure that it's been deployed correctly. So now if we see that that started, you can notice that the pods check, good check, check, running. Started about a minute ago. Um, different information about it. It's just your traditional Kubernetes dashboard view. To go into my replica controller I can look at my services and so this will actually give us the external IP um, you can see it's running external endpoint so there's two but I'm going to use this 8083 one that I designated and I'm going to add a backslash swagger to the end if we look at the get statement and try it out we should get exactly what we put earlier so the Bob California location yeah, um, thank you for watching. It's just a quick, simple video on how to deploy a BWC application onto Kubernetes manually. Thank you.